Howdy out there, just for Mythical Fabrications, for you guys that are uh, curious about the M4 E pipe and asking all the questions and whatnot. Um, obviously, I haven't went to my website, Mythical Fabrications, on Facebook or uh, looked online for the YouTubes to show how they work. So, this is on the uh, M4 E pipe. It's called the M4 because the original name for this material is M3. It is a metal molecular material, or molecular metal materials, one of those. Um, what not, if you search for it, you'll find the website, you'll find all the prices and whatnot. This shit ain't cheap. Um, I'm not making very much money on these. Um, I just want to offer them really cheap comparative to uh, the only other place that sells them e-pipe mods. Um, I don't use the same setup as they do, only because um, I don't want to copy somebody else. You know, it's not my thing. I don't like to copy. I don't like to replicate. I like doing something new, something different. And something very, very simple. Um, one of the first things I noticed with a lot of tube mods, which not many people actually like looked into, is your hand actually has a resistor, um, a small one, but enough to change a little bit of the voltage. But uh, so you know, I use the leather top to prevent any kind of touching to any metal, unless of course you were touching this, you're not going to change any voltage. But anyways, this is what it looks like. Okay, let me uh, change the camera just a bit. Okay, I really can't change the camera. But as you notice, there is a leaf coil spring. All my pipes use one of these. It's a double A leaf coil spring. It's simple, it's easy, just drops right in. It prevents any kind of shorts or what, or it doesn't really prevent shorts, but it prevents further damage from a short. Okay? In the very bottom, that little mess of wire, that is a copper coil that I wound, and uh, it goes straight to the center of this connector. Okay, now this top coil or this top ring right here runs down the side, inside, into here. So it touches the outside. So there's your positive and negative connections. Once you take the spring, drop it in, make sure it's right side up. Um, I use 18350 batteries only for a fact that most of the pipes are not that big. I mean, I have a pipe right here that I'm converting for someone. As you can see, you know, it's even smaller. With, with the whole size. So I try to stay in tune to, you know, most of the pipes will not for my regular stuff. The Stein pipes, yeah, those are big. Those are monsters. There's a reason why they're called Steins. One, size of a beer stein. They're fucking huge. Two, Frankenstein. So, 18350. My original pipes were 16340s because I really like the small styles. But I went to 18350s because, well, it's two millimeters bigger. Okay, so, anyways, it goes in there like that, real simple, real easy, and yeah, yeah. I mean, this might be caveman-like, but I haven't noticed any drawback to this other than the fact it's a bottle cap. Okay, I use brand new, fresh bottle caps, never used. Um, I have a buddy that works in the brewery industry, so he does his own uh, beers. He gets me bags of this stuff, brand new, fresh, unused bottle caps. All right, so it's nice, it's pretty. That goes on top like that. Okay. Now the spring in there keeps it up high enough to not touch the uh, the top positive wire. Okay. Take a little leather cap. Now a lot of people do say, well, that's horrible. You know, there's an easier way. Yes and no. Um, using the magnets and cutting off the top technically is easier for a lot of people because they just pull it off. But um, me, I'm very, very butter fingers and whatnot, so stuff slips out, and if it drops, you know, the top can fly off, the battery can move out and whatnot. This right here prevents it from going anywhere. Plus, I'm a Ren Faire geek. I like stuff to look, period. Now, true, they didn't have leather tops on their pipes back then, but they didn't have a big, huge metal button either. So, I do a leather top. And all it is... And trust me, after a few times of doing this, you get really good at putting this top on. Hold that down there like that. Pull it around to all the different sides. Pull it over. Make sure you slide the bottle cap so it actually fits right in the hole. And then pull. Now there's a little lip around here that this uh, synthetic sinew or wax nylon goes around. And once it's on there like that, you just wrap it around both ways. 
one, uh, two, right, come on. Yeah, two. Once it's through, pull again, and the uh, the, the strengthen on it, or strengthen, the, uh, once you do that two times, just run it through, it holds just fine. Um, I usually like to use, you know, the church wardens on a lot of my pipes just because I like long pipes. So, um, I just use a regular 510 connection from Good Profits. Um, I know a lot of people like those egos and whatnot, but they're almost two dollars a piece where I can get these for about 49 cents from Good Profits. I try to keep the cost down on me so I can keep the cost down on you guys. I mean, no one else really has custom e-pipes for $65. They have, uh... You know, stuff made in China, mass produced. This is American made, all here by these hands. The art on a lot of the pipes is done by my girlfriend back there. So, but anyways, goes together just like that. I use a 1.5 ohm dual coil or 1.5 ohm single coil on here with an Artemis tank. Um, I like the Artemis tanks; they're nice. They're you know locking and whatnot, set up real well. But once it's on there. I mean, it vapes like a champ. It has no problem. I get the full voltage from this from this battery because I'm not touching any metal. Um, the other good thing is, if by chance you know your atomizer, cartomizer, or buildable, whatever the hell you use, does push the center post on this too far, breaks the grommet or whatnot, I can replace those. Okay. Um, chances are, you know, since you guys are watching this, a lot of you guys are modders. You can fix it yourself. So cool. But um, if it does short. And everything heats up. A lot of people have noticed, you know, the top gets hot and the battery gets hot. The leather will protect your finger if it starts to get hot. And then that coil will melt. It'll flatten. The battery will drop below the connection between the top button and that top positive wire. So it is safe. Um, I have had it on a few others when I wanted to test and see how it worked when it, if it got shorted. Works just fine. When you remove the battery, do not put your finger down there and try to pull out the spring. You will burn yourself. I know, because I did, and so did Judge Eva when... Yeah, that's a long story. But, um, don't do that. So, that's the workings of the M4 E-Pipe. Um, they are metal. I have a lot of different uh, colors and styles available to me that I can do. Um, if you guys are watching this, you guys are watching on Vapebit or on YouTube. Um, on Vapid, yes, I do have the list going. Uh, I need at least five people to do it because the shipping is a lot, and the more pieces I buy, the cheaper it becomes, which makes it a lot easier. Um, if I just have five people, I can. I think I should be able to do a discount, but if I can get ten, I can do a discount, and the price of the pipes will go down a little bit. So, just letting you know. Anyways, I'm Jester from Mythical Fabrications. Vape long, vape hard, and I hope you guys enjoyed.